Something a little different. This guy was in this tank. Oh man, I oh, let a bunch of junk in there, no. Now I'm not concerned about the water quality. What's going on everybody? We are here in the fish room again and as promised, we are doing things a little bit different in here. These 12 aquariums, there's gonna be some changes. This is gonna be a whole new experience in the fish room. So if you guys like fish videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you're notified when a new video comes out because the analytics are showing that most of the viewers aren't subscribed. So definitely hit that button because if you subscribe, you'll get to see how I built that thing. Automatic water changer. Look at this, automatic water change system for all 12 of these aquariums in here. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Let's jump into this video. All right, so what we gotta do here is we gotta get this tank and completely change it to something else. What we have in this tank is just one African cichlid, uh, some dirty glass, sand, rock. We're gonna do some things and change it up. All right, let's get some water and sand out of the tank. Now, I live in the country, and the way I did my drain system for the fish room, it all just goes outside. So for me, it doesn't matter if sand gets outside. If you are in the city, you're gonna definitely wanna scoop your sand out. So check that out. We got sand going up there, and I got the sand going down into this tank. Now, I'm not concerned about the water quality because these get water changes often, and it's only one fish in here and then I don't waste the sand. But if you have another aquarium right next to you, that wasn't a bad idea to move the sand as long as you're okay with moving substrate and things like that from one tank to another. Like I mentioned, I wasn't because I know water changes happen all the time. Now check out the sponge. They may be ugly, but boy, they sure do a good job of filtering the water. And uh, it was uh, high time I got that guy cleaned. So we're using the hose now on the python kit just to get the last bit of the sand out of this tank and again for me because i live in the country it's not a big deal that the sand goes outside because it just drains right outside of the building uh, not into like a public sewer system which i'm assuming sand is likely going to cause a problem so now that we got all the sand out it's all about getting those rocks rearranged in a way that looks natural that's my goal is to make this look as natural as possible and of course, speeding up the video because nobody wants to watch me rearrange rocks for 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, so I believe we got the rocks in the place that I want them to be, but I want to add some substrate. Typically, I've used sand, but this time I'm going to switch it up and use some white gravel. Um, so it still has that pop against the black background and um, it'll give room for the detritus to go into this and then when I vacuum it out, it just will look cleaner, I think. So uh, yeah, something a little different. We're gonna do this. Something that I had was a bunch of extra gravel from a tank that I got quite a while back. And um, it's good. I like how it's got some of the, you know, the brown in it, but I want it wider. So I got two five pound bags of this. We're gonna put it in here, do this bucket, and then we're gonna do another bucket with this gravel, and then add that. Cut them up, cut them up. Boom, 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 boom. Ah. Oh boy. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, it'll probably look pretty decent. All right, let's get the rest of that gravel in the tank. I sure hope it is going to look good once it is all set in place and the water is nice and clear. So we're just using that one cup measuring cup to scoop some out at a time, pouring it throughout the tank so that it's around the tank. <laughs> Not much more to say there, really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, doing that and then using the hand to get it off the rocks and move things around, uh, using the net to get uh, some loose stuff in the water column because I like to use a net for that type of purpose. So I am moving some around, as you saw, and then I am pouring more of the whiter gravel on top so that it is more white. So 
check it out. If any of you missed the video I did on this, so I got these hang on overflows to be part of the automatic water chain system because this is tempered and I just don't want it. You can't drill tempered. So this overflow works. So we got the auto water change line that comes off that zone, goes into here and it overflows out. As you can see right there, check that out. That's sweet down into the drain. All right, check it out. So this is part of the change in the fish room I've been talking about. Uh, so the water's got to clear up a bit, debubble, I guess you could say. But uh, so here we go. We added that um, those uh, pebbles, the gravel, with some of the old stuff that I had. And you know, I think it looks pretty decent. Then you can see the scape here. Uh, I tried to make it as natural as I could, but I wanted to give a few spaces, like let's see, there's one under here, there's one there, there's that one, so that these uh, fish can hide. And then obviously I wanted to get one of the plants in here um, that'll hide that sponge filter. But we take a step back. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Yeah, it's, it's simple, it is, it's, it's very simple. Um, but it's a start. All right, time to get the Super Red Texas. I don't know if you can see, but one did not make it. All right, here we go with number one. Okay, there we go. Oh man, I let a bunch of junk in there. No, after I just cleaned it. Ha! Here's me trying to concentrate to catch this guy. But not smarter than me. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Again, not the greatest camera work, I apologize. The reason I had to do that was this guy was in this tank. Tangerine Tiger, African Cichlid. And uh, now this guy is gonna move into this tank in this tank for now all right everybody let's go ahead and take a look at the tank with the fish in there so there are the first two doing uh you know they're gonna need time to settle in now now it's about their time of settling in and then underneath the sponge you can see them there's the other guy Wow, big sexy. Awesome. Not hiding. Ah, perfect. That little cave I built, look. Boom. Awesome. Hopefully that guy chills there. Yeah. What do you guys think of the substrate that uh, we threw in here? Again, nothing special. But something a little bit different than the sand. And again, I know all the detritus will end up getting into the sand, which means it's not gonna be hanging out, which you see in sand and on a bare bottom. So something that I was really shooting for with, the, with this aquarium was as natural of a look as I could. I like a rock pile. I really like it. This advantage of having a rock pile is if you don't have a lot of gaps for that water flow to get in there, you know, you're going to allow detritus to get trapped in there and all that stuff. And I know this from being in the saltwater hobby as well. So again, I just really wanted to try to make this as much. Look at that. How cool is that look right there? That looks pitch black. But if you look on the other side, that is an opening that they could get in and out. But again, I wanted it to be as natural looking as I could, but it had those caves. And I might have to get another plant or two because I want that sponge to be hidden as much as possible. And maybe a big piece of like fake driftwood, not real driftwood, I don't like tannins, but maybe like, I don't know, a fake piece that like sits here, but it like goes up across the tank and out. I don't know, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of that? That is why we did the caves. Look at that, this dude was chilling down in that cave. There's the other guy. Now obviously they're gonna have a bit of a fight on each other, but now this guy can try to go and escape to somewhere else. Again, these are juvenile fish, guys. 
They're juvenile fish. This is gonna be so great, and you know what? Maybe I might find a piece of fake driftwood and do something like, I don't know, like on this bottom corner down here, and maybe have something where it comes up here like this. I mean, I don't know, what do you guys think? Maybe a fake piece of driftwood for that tank. I think that might look pretty, pretty sick. So yeah, SRTs are in the 75 gallon tank. Unfortunately, we did lose the one. And, um, but the bigger tank with all the hiding spots, again, this was temporary. So I could get that guy over there all set up. So uh, again, with the hiding spots and the water flow, I talked to the person that I bought them from and they said, that the SRTs like higher water flow. That's what his experience is. Uh, so since it's my first time, that's why I wanted to move them in here. Cause you can see I got that power head right there. So we got the sponge filter filtering it. The power head really just moving this water around. That's how I like it. I like a lot of water movement in my aquariums. So um, plus the sponge filter, cheap way to filter. They don't look the greatest, we'll have to admit that, but I got that central air system up there that I did in this whole fish room. Now, again, if you wanna know how I did this central air system, if you wanna know how I did this automatic water change system, if you wanna know how I did the old school water change system with a spa pump, a pool spa pump, you're gonna to wanna to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because the analytics are showing that most of the viewers aren't subscribed. So definitely hit that subscribe button, everybody. Now, in the comments, let me know what you guys think of the new tank, changes that you guys would have made, additions that you would do love to read them would love to respond to you guys i love to interact with everybody who watches this channel thanks again for watching i hope to see you guys on the next one stay tanked